<laughs> it's the big day. <laughs> Woo! Look, it's so classy behind me. It is so classy. <laughs> But it, we have it. It's here. The 2023 BOM with Sarah Filkey. Yeah! Uh, I love this quilt, but we're not going to get to it right away. I'm going to be a little bit mean. Yeah, John says we need new sheets. <laughs> oh, they're classy. They've got stripes in them. <laughs> Anyways, it's Friday, November 11th. Where has this year gone, right? Uh, I, I have a wonderful interview with Sarah. And also, we're going to do a reveal. But I got something in my inbox that I, I just love. And I want to share it with you. Carla, first of all, sent me a picture of a little piece that she's working on that has fusy and big stitch. You can really tell how big it is by the size of those push pins. That must have been a blast to put together, a complete blast, because it didn't take till the end of time, and it's just so of time, and it's just so sweet. I can't stand it. But that was not the main intent of her of her um, email. She shared something that I have heard of in the past. And today being D Veterans Day and my dad was a vet, uh, I almost started crying. I wish I had done this. But what they do, in keeping with Thanksgiving, you guys have two weeks to clear that table off, um, is they put down, I've heard of this, all right, people? A tablecloth. And then every year, she picks a color. So like 2021 was um, green, 2019 was red. And people sign on the Thanksgiving table cloth, and then she loves handwork, and then she embroiders it in. And I believe she started it in 2019. But here is a hilarious thing. Uh, let's go to the next picture. Um, it, see, oh gosh, I hope I have the right one. Is this the one that, there's one that has um, um, uh applique on top. <laughs> I don't know if it was this one or the one I just showed you, but that was a uh, boyfriend that was no longer in the picture, so they just applique a leaf on top. <laughs> and then Lydia became a citizen in 2019, so that's why the American flag is there. I, I, I wish I had done this. I wish I had done this because I mean, talk about what Thanksgiving is. It's about your family and friends, right? So here is, uh, thank you for sending that, Carla. That really made my heart feel so happy. And you put in the letter, you didn't know if our people would want it. And I thought, sure they would. You could also do a table runner. I mean, it, the sky's the limit, but to document who's sitting around that table, the year it is, and then the color map tells you what year is extraordinary. So thank you. That Blessings abound for passing that on. Okay, so yesterday, uh, before we get to, to the reveal, um, John and I went out to the warehouse. You know, we're having a warehouse sale next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and uh, we started just labeling everything. Because it's a warehouse, things aren't priced like you see in a store. So we are on the internet and we are doing bundles and there are shelves and shelves and shelves and shelves like this. Plus, of course, we have all the notions in the back, right? Or oh, maybe that's the same one I just shared. Well, no, yeah, that's the same one. Sorry, people. Oh, wait, what am I doing here? Let's see what this one is. Yeah, we got Christmas fabric, we've got Halloween fabric, we've got Moda, we have a little bit of Tula, a little bit of Cave, but um, just, uh, actually yesterday, I was not aware of everything in the store at all, and I would sit there and go, ooh, I really like you. <laughs> Maybe you're going home with Mama. <laughs> and some of the things, there's only one or two left. So, okay, here's how you do it. Again, it's next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's in Livermore, California. It is in person, all right? 
because it is such a small warehouse, sorry I keep pounding on this. Um, we can only let in X amount of people at a time. Uh, we really honestly haven't had a lot of signups, so I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. And um, what you do is you go on the front page of thequiltshow.com and you're going to see something like this. And you pick a time and you put your name in. That doesn't mean you only have five minutes to shop. It's a way, it's the only way John could figure out in the system to get names so we knew what we were into. So like, let's say you want to go Thursday at 925, you would just go there, put your name in, and then people will rotate in and out, in and out, in and out. It's super funky, but it's really all, all we could, um, the only way he could figure it out. All right. So, um... Pa, 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 pa. Where are we at? Yeah, oh yeah, we got people here. All right, Sarah Filkey. John, are you coming in? I am. Uh, she is an Aussie designer. I have a wonderful, wonderful picture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> she's a wonderful um, Australian designer, and she specializes in BOMs. Now, one, the kits are going on sale today. Finally, um, you do have to be a star member to get the pattern. This is something that we have been doing for how many years would you say? About 14. About 14 years. One of the perks of being a member of the quiltshow.com is that you get a free BOM, not the fabric, but the pattern as a perk. And then John has a deal for you too, but I think, okay, I, all right. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, pull. One. Well, you can just pull it out. I'm not tall enough. I can do it. Well, then hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, there's a little bit hanging out. Just a little bit. One, two, three. Woo! Yay! I just love this quilt. Sarah Filkey, you nailed it, lady. You absolutely nailed it. So I'm going to move my screen like this. I'll get my face out of it. You don't care about that. And then go down here. And, and in a moment, after we have the interview, I'm going to share with you the kit and the beautiful, beautiful fabrics that are in it. Sarah um, designed the quilt, and she used a lot of Tula fabric, her solids, which I adore. And then Cave somehow knocked on the door and got in there, too. So, yeah! <laughs> I'm going to say something. Uh, John, it, somehow this resonates much better in video than the, the, the actual pictures of it. Although John did send me one that was pretty darn good. I know. Do we love it? Do we love it? Oh, that's, that's the one with the ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Carla, I see you. I actually went and read your thing today, just start burst out laughing. I kind of skimmed through it before. Okay, so I've been living with this a little bit. What's my favorite part? Well, well, I love this border, and I love the homes. You know what? What do, what do you care what I think? Let, let's see what Sarah has to say, okay? Yay! Sarah Filkey, how are you? Very well, thank you, Alex. Well, I have to say, this was really exciting to be able to show everybody. I mean, people have been begging and begging, and we show them a little, we're being kind of mean is what we are. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tease it a little bit. <laughs> but, I, but I also know that there was one said person um, at Houston who happened to have pictures on her phone, and actually me also. She was sneaking around. I know. <laughs> so, so the name of this is Homeward Bound, correct? That's when right. uh, Lilo spoke to you, how did you gather ideas for this fabulous quilt? Well, I think really I I had had a little design in my head that that maybe was going to be my block of the month for for the following year. I've always got a couple of little scribbles that I'm doing around the place. And um, I have another quilt called Coming Home, which has a lot of houses and things in it. And I love little houses. I mean, who, who doesn't love little houses? And so I had started drawing this kind of like post-COVID, you know, maybe we're on the home stretch sort of quilt. It's like and when Lilo, yeah, exactly. And when Lilo contacted me about 
doing the block of the month. I went, oh, I, know, I have the perfect, the perfect one started. So that's where I went. And you know, you say that, and I remember because it was like you said to Lilo, I can have a drawing to you in a month or something. We're all going, what? <laughs> How does <Yeah>. that happen? <laughs> you know, um, the so sketchbook's okay. always full of ideas. <laughs> so the fabric in it is primarily Tula pinks, but I saw that you also snuck some cave stuff in there too. Yes, it's mostly Tula's. Um, there are all of her little spots and stripes and her solids. And then there's a couple of little, um, you know, cave classics, the ones we all love, Roman glass and, you know, those things that we all love to use so much that have kind of snuck in there as well. I'll tell you, the, lady the, bugs. Are, the ladybugs are Tula's, right? Yes, oh, yes, yes. You know what, oh, while we're, sweet. I got to show everybody while we're talking, I'm in the right place, because the fact, this is not included in the kit, people, but... Is that too? Isn't it too? gorgeous? Yeah, isn't it amazing? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was that. so lucky because that was released after I finished the quilt, and so I got onto Free Spirit. So please, 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 you have to let me have it for the back. So I, I got oh. sneaky early fabric. <laughs> okay, so maybe that'll even be available early next year or something. It is actually available right now. Okay, cool. Yep, it's Very good. Right now. So if anybody's bought the kit and then they're desperate to have the ladybugs, they can go find it. Okay, so the other thing, too, I want to say about Tula's solids, which are the piano keys around the edge, you know, in other places in there, too. Mm -hmm. They have a very different, lovely look to them. You, you look at them and you go, a bundle, you go, man, that is, that is different. The colors in them are really very beautiful. And I mean, anyone who knows Chula's fabric knows that she doesn't do things like other people. So there was no way she was going to just put out your old, you know, average line of solids. The colors are just stunning and it has a really beautiful soft hand, a very lovely weave to it. It's just beautiful to applique particularly, but also to piece. Well, I want to take a look, okay, at some of your other quilts. Now you're kind of known for your BOMs, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, prior to that, it was probably my books and things, but the block of the months more recently, yeah, that that's kind of taken off. <laughs> well, I love them. Let's, I, I, I don't have them in any particular order, but right. let's take a look and tell us about them. And these are available on your site. If you missed the boat the year it was on, you can still get the book that relates to it, correct? Yeah, that's right. And the books come with all of the video instruction. So you still kind of get the BOM, you just get it as a whole package instead of like a monthly thing. Cool. Yeah, but it's just the pattern. I don't do fabrics. Okay, here we go. So tell, oh, tell us about this one. <laughs> so this quilt is called Happy Days. This is the first one that I ever did as a BOM. Um, and I... I did this I did the BOMs just as a bit of fun it was I was having a break between writing patterns uh writing books rather I, I'd written nine books or something in or seven books in nine years or something like that and I was just so I was so <laughs> over it so I was like I'm just gonna do something else for a year so I thought I'd do this little block of the month and that's you know a couple of people might come along and play and it kind of turned into this juggernaut um, but the idea behind this quilt is that you learn, I think there's 12 different techniques that you learn in making this quilt and each one has a little video class that goes with it. So there's needle turn applique, Hawaiian applique, foundation paper piecing, English paper piecing, um, using 60 degree triangles, like you name it, it's all in there. <laughs> and you're going to be doing that for us too, right? I mean, that's part of the whole BOM thing is you're going to be providing a video, which Thank you. I, not everybody is technically able to do that. I get it, you know? Okay, yeah. then this one. Mm. This one's coming home. This is the one I was talking about just before that had the little houses mm -hmm. in it. Um, and it's, it's obviously got a lot more houses than Homeward Bound does, but um, that was kind of where I had started because this quilt um, was being released uh, as we came to the end of COVID, we were just kind of finishing up coming home and um, there was something about the idea of being at home and, and the little houses and stuff that kind of really got to me. This, so, this one I think I saw on Pinterest. Somebody might have done it like in Halloween colours. Does that ring a bell for yeah. you? 
Oh. I think I've seen all of them done in so many colours. Yeah. It's just crazy. Um, but some of the things, particularly with coming home and down the rabbit hole that people have done with them, they're just so much fun. Let's look at down the rabbit hole. I'm going out of order. Oh. What about this one? So down the rabbit hole was my 2017 one. So it was the second block of the month and it's kind of the one that's really taken off every Every time I turn around, <laughs> there's down the rabbit hole. It's it's one of those quilts that um, I think I don't know whether it's the bunnies or the little flowers in the center or what it is, but um, oh, it's the bunnies. Just... <laughs> I think it's the bunnies. So you'll say you think that this is one of your more popular ones, then? That absolutely would be the most popular one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it's the one that just, I mean, that you know, they've all done very well, but down the rabbit hole just keeps on going and going. Isn't that and, funny um, how that happens? I mean, you get a classic, it, yeah. and it's a classic, you know? It really is. I don't know what it is about it, but, um, but yeah, people just love it, which is just absolutely wonderful. And the amount of times that um, I get an email from someone or a social media post or something, and they've had their down the rabbit hole in a show and it's they a surprise. Win. Yeah, and it just it blows my mind every time. So, <laughs> doesn't that fun. feel good though? I mean, it really does. And 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 that happens all the time with our BOMs, and it's fun. Like they'll finish it up, and like we we're seeing the the reapings of Wendy Williams this year. We're still not done yet with Irene, but you see yeah. people start sending in the pictures with the ribbons, and it's yeah, yeah. It's such fun. It really is. It's it's it just really makes you feel like you know. Maybe it's I'm so doing special. Right. Everybody making them everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. It's okay, then simple folk. Yeah, so simple folk. Um, that year that I did the block of the month, I actually did two different quilts, which was just crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but it was very good fun. But I did it because simple folk, as you can see, has a lot of applique, and um, you know, it's it's a lot for some people. So we had one quilt that was more basic applique and hand stitching, which is called the grasshopper. And then we had Simple Folk and um, I designed it because I was inspired by a book that I had um, that was full of um, Pennsylvania Dutch fracture and paintings and stuff like that. So I, I was just going to say, I'm looking at some of those and I'm going, those are like the hex signs that we yeah, see up in that's Dorothy. Right. And then, but I don't think all of them are hex signs. Not all, but nearly all of them are inspired by um, a drawing either on a piece of furniture or, um, you know, some, something like that. I've been inspired by Pennsylvania Dutch drawings and pictures and hex signs and all sorts of other things. Furniture and I hope and I have this right. If somebody doesn't know what a hex sign is, um, at least in Door County, you buy it. It's like a circle, maybe about that big, and it's painted. And you might put it, you put it somewhere. And then you kind of yeah. know, oh, I don't think it like has any negative, even though it says hex sign, I don't think it's anything negative. It's just, no. they must mean something, all those symbols, right? They do, yeah. They all have different meanings and I think some of them are supposed to sort of, you know, keep evil spirits away or whatever. Um, but others I think are just, they, some mean love, some mean um, fidelity, some have religious meanings, all sorts of different things. I love it. I just love it. Okay, and then we have um, this one. Everybody was actually on the set when when we taped, and of course, uh, this is going to be Sarah's show is going to be the first of the year to kick us off. But here we go. Wow. So this one's called Growing Wild. Um, Growing Wild was. Let me think about that. That was 2020. So that was the COVID. The COVID one. Okay. The, the COVID block of the month. The so everybody one. stayed inside and applied leaves until their fingertips fell off. <laughs> okay. So there is a lot of applique on that. Okay. So let me ask you this because I, ah, now I'm mad at myself for not putting my nose on it. Um, was that striped background piece or was that found yardage? It's paste. Yeah. And, and the border yeah. also. And the border also. Yeah. So the border, it, it was actually, um, it's such a great way to put the quilt together because instead of having to applique the whole great big long border all in one go, um, you actually piece the section and applique it and then piece oh. the next part on and applique it. So all the little stems go inside those borders as you go. Um, so it was actually unintentional when I first designed it, but when we when I started to put it together, I was like, oh, this is actually 
one of the best ways to do a big long applique border I've ever thought of. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you a question about this. Um, now that I'm really looking at it, the um, z the triangles, okay, mm -hmm. were those applique on or pieced in? No, they're pieced in. Yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. So the top, um, like each strip of the stripe has a pieced triangle top and bottom. So that okay, I see you're that. putting it, yeah, you're putting it together in a column. So it's actually not anywhere near as complicated to construct as, as it looks. It looks like it really looks like you're do, doing all kinds of stuff, but yeah. essentially all you're, all you're doing is putting that strip together each time and you'll put like four of them together and mm. applique some flowers and then put another four together and then stitch those bits together. So it's actually kind of nice little chunks rather than. Nice. Now, before we started recording everybody, um, we, I was asking, okay, well, what did you teach on the show? I remember we went over stems and then you brought up the, the aluminum foil thing and I'd forgotten all about that. Don't tell them how to do it, but tell them what it is. <laughs> So I have a tricky way of doing circles and um, you might have seen by looking at Homewood Bound, there's quite a lot of circles in there and applicating circles is tricky and fiddly and it can be a real pain in the neck, but I have a very, very uh, sneaky and easy and quick way of doing applique circles that you're going to learn when you see the show. Yeah, I got to tell you, I, I've been doing this for 100 years and I've never seen anything like it at all, at all. So so tell me, OK, you live in Sydney, Australia, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And everybody with the time changing and this and that, it was, it's a miracle we're both here at the same time. Yeah, we've done well. <laughs> what is what is um, how do people get you as a teacher? What's your story? So um, I teach online classes. I have um, on-demand classes that are available at my website. Um, I also do um, trunk shows and stuff like that on Zoom for groups and shops and what have you. Um, that And that's really quite easy because quite frequently um, we can do like an end of day for the US and, and early in the morning for me and it, mm -hmm. it does work out quite well, especially at the moment with daylight saving. It's, it's quite reasonable hours. <laughs> um, and I also travel to the US. I obviously haven't very much in the last however long, but I travel to the US um, usually quite a lot to teach, um, particularly if I'm doing a big show. Like I do Quilt Con and Sisters and Houston and all of that sort of thing. And then I try to add some groups or shops onto the tour as I go. So, so, so what's your next gig in the US? So my next gig in the US, and this will be my first time back to the States to teach, other than my very quick trip to film with you guys, um, I will be in Sisters, Oregon for the um, Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show in July. I'm teaching full week there, and then um, I'm the featured artist on Sunday for Save It For Sunday. So you can actually go out into the forest and walk through all my quilts hanging between the trees, which is just, I'm so excited to be doing that. It's going to be really fun. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Now, have you taught there before? I've taught at Sisters a lot. Oh, yeah, I think this yeah. is my sixth year or something like that. Do you do, yeah. you do uh, single classes or like two, three days classes? How does, what works best for you in that format? Kind of depends what everybody wants me to do. I think this time around I'm teaching two two-day classes. Um, one is a, um, a really fun scrap class where everybody brings their scraps and we tip it all into a big mountain on the ground and we work out of it. It's called Climbing Scrap Mountain. It's really, really fun. Uh, and I'm teaching some improv. Um, when the show airs, you'll see there's a little improv quilt on the wall and there's little people, so I'm teaching that, and that's a two-day class. And then I have a new pattern that's launching as well for the very first time at Sisters, which is just a little one day. Well, I have to tell everybody that um, Ricky was not there because he had COVID, and um, I kind of feel like I was extra special lucky because you had I had you all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I could have my ways with you. <laughs> it was very fun <laughs> it was totally fun and it was a quick turnaround for you and we thank you so much tell you what i'm going to get this quilt to you for sisters if you want it that would be fantastic that would okay. be really great everyone can see it in person and sarah you spell your name s-a-r-a-h f-i-l-k-e f-i-e-l-k-e listen yeah. to sarah not me <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a tricky one. No one can spell it or say yeah, it. Say, say it again. <laughs> So it's Filky, F-I-E-L-K-E. Okay, okay. Well, um, I want to thank you so much, and I'm thrilled that we have yet another Ase. You guys have really have a different look uh, that, that you just don't see that much in the U.S., and I can't really put my finger on it, but, man, people love, love, love your work. And I know you personally have a super solid following, so thank you so much. No, I'm so thrilled to have done it. I'm really excited for the quilt to be revealed and everybody to see it, and it's going to be great. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Well, it just happened. So, okay, Sarah, <laughs> you have a good day, and I'm going to have a good evening. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> thanks so much, Alex. And thanks for taking time out and getting up and hanging with us, okay? No worries at all. Anytime. <laughs> you don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> isn't she wonderful i mean she's as beautiful as this quilt is inside and out i am just so excited i actually have goosebumps about the whole thing so i did grab some pictures that i wanted to show you of the fabric up close in the kit and this is a very very scrappy quilt and we were able to keep the cost down it's around 250 because a lot of the um pieces were very small and cut well cut like jelly rolls okay so don't be surprised when you get a bunch of flat jelly rolls so let's take a look at uh, some of the fabric it's just look at the colors and and the way that Tula's plays with Kaif is just amazing and we did have one trauma with it that I'm excited to show you about in a second here and how we fixed it look at that oh my gosh just beautiful okay you can see there's like a um that center one i believe is a two and a half inch okay so you'll handle it like you would handle jelly rolls the colors are just flipping remarkable okay then here's this okay look to the far right all right that is the background now let me go forward on the quilt, when it was time, we couldn't secure the background that Sarah had chosen. Everything else we could. So Kristen goes, well, she said, I'll make it. And we said, what? So let's see. Kristen designed the background fabric. And personally, I like it better because we could uh, match it to exactly Tula's colors. I think she did a great job. Also, it's a little bit whiter, so it's going to even be crisper than this. I'm very, very excited about that. So, so okay, here are the details. Um, as far as the backing, I don't know how much, but I can tell you it's 68 inches square, all right? And it probably shrunk a little bit in the quilting, so let's just pretend it's between, between 68 and 70, so you can figure that out. Um, <laughs> Rosemary goes, Santa has arrived! <laughs> so remember that, okay, so here's like details. First of all, they're not going to be shipping till early December. What, of course, it's free shipping too, right? Because it's over $100. That's one of our policies. Um, there are a couple accessory kits that are available to go along with it. And um, the reason it's not shipping till the first or second week of December is because that one of the paper templates that you might want, the printer did it wrong. <laughs> and I believe Sarah caught it. And so we're waiting for that to get in, and it would be really unfair to not get your free shipping if you wanted the accessory kit with it. And I highly recommend that, all right? Remember, you do have to be a star member. The pattern does not come with the fabric. It comes with, the, with being a member of thequiltshow.com. An added bonus is if you were to join today, let's say you've never joined before, not only are you going to get the pattern for this year's BOM, but also, I mean, next year's BOM, sorry, 23, but right now it's Irene Blank's BOM, and so you'll get that one too. So for 49 bucks a whole year, a whole year for everything, you get the shows, You right now, you get the shows, you get the BOM, 
And I would suggest you go and place your order shortly for the BOM. And as soon as we get the accessory kits in, we'll start shipping. You will have it in plenty of time before we start on the first of the year. And as we mentioned, Sarah did do monthly videos for us. That is extraordinary, extraordinary. And um, Barbara will be guiding us through the whole thing too. Somebody asked, I don't know if I'm good enough for this. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. When you have a very good teacher with you, slash, you've got Sarah and you have Barbara, you'll be able to do it just fine. And somebody mentioned with the applique, it's finished, but you could fuse it. There's no law against that. John, you just came wandering in. What did you want to say, buddy? Oh, it's 70 inches finished, Barbara said. Yeah, it sh I was like, I. well, well, I saw that question go up. I would grab my tape measure to see. So um, that's, that's what it is. So Barbara, thank you for having my nose on that. Because you know, when you quilt things, things shrink up. So I am so thrilled on behalf of thequiltshow.com that Sarah said yes, and that we have this gift for you for the year 2023. Also, so you know it's going on next week, uh, Monday, Amy Paps got bumped today. <laughs> I screwed up, won't be the first, isn't the first, won't be the last, but Amy um, is going to be my Monday interview. You guys are gonna flip your lid when you see her work. Flip your lid. Uh, I saw her work in person in Houston maybe three years ago, four years ago, and she had another exhibit this year. Her work is extraordinary. You do not want to miss it. And then I wrangled Justin, our dear beloved Justin. He was at uh, Houston taking pictures for you, for us, you know, for those of us who couldn't be. And John had the idea of, Justin, what quilts, pick five or six quilts that really um, struck you. So he, these are not the award winners. These are Justin's choice. <laughs> so you will see, if you didn't go to Houston, you'll get a sneak peek of some of the quilts and the diversity is just over the top. So, okay, your to-do list. Go sign up for the warehouse sale that's in person in Livermore, California. <laughs> I want to see you, okay? And then if you want the BOM, I would get in queue. You know, get it, sign up for it. As soon as we get the components, we will be shipping it all out. But those BOMs, are those, those kits are sitting there ready to go into your hands. And yes, it's Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and or G be nice to yourself day. <laughs> and honestly, 250 is a flippin' steal for this thing with everything you get. Okay, um, will we be able to purchase the white with the smaller color squares background if we want to use our own scrap? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much Kristen ordered. She's on here. My gut guess is probably not, but um, I'm just the host. <laughs> I'm just the talent. Let's see. Um, let me look. Uh, can't join for years. I thought, why with all the free stuff on YouTube? But I joined one month for five bucks just to see. Well, I signed up for the year after that. Yeah, it's the Quilt Show is a phenomenal resource for quilters worldwide. So thank you for putting that in there, Sherry. I, I can't think of anything better that you could spend your quilting money on, honestly. The education is... So I'm looking to see if Kristen says something about the background. My guess is not, but I don't know. I, again, I'm just the talent. Trust me, low man on the totem pole. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you Monday with Amy Pabst. And um, I'm glad you're as happy as I am. Yay. Bye-bye.